Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Biki here with the Untitled Game Show. Back once again with another Yu-Gi-Oh! tool. Let's do it right now, guys. We're going to be playing with a brand new deck as requested by you guys out there, the subscribers, the fans. You guys are tired of seeing me only play with Samazar Eyes, so I went ahead and made a brand new deck featuring Neutrium Monsters. These monsters base their attack types around, well, you know, locking down my opponent, preventing them from activating spells and traps, and doing somewhere around 2,500 at max, maybe 3,000 damage. We'll try to get as much out as possible. Of course, I've added some random cards in the mix to make it a little bit more fun because you guys were saying my videos were going a little too quick, especially with the cards I had with the Samurais because the Samurai deck was more or less a two-turn win deck. This will definitely take a little lo longer to try to win. And because I've added some random cards in the mix as well, there's not guaranteed that I'm going to win my duels like I normally do. So we'll do the best we can with the stuff we have. So I am going to take him right here. And let's let the fun begin. Alright, so this card right here is a pretty good card. When I summon it, if my opponent had another monster in the field, I would actually get a second summon. But as we see right now, my opponent doesn't have any monsters in the field and I'm going first. What I'm going to do is set this card in defense. When that card gets destroyed and sent to the graveyard, I'm able to special summon one level 4 or lower than the trio monster. This card right here allows me to activate if my um, opponent attacks a plant type monster i get to basically um destroy that monster so it's, it's like this is a plant version of mirror force and here's a real version of mirror force and here is um safety zone which we will use in case of an emergency to make sure that my opponent can't use their abilities or anything like that because this one does this target one face of attack position monster on the field that target cannot be destroyed or by uh, destroyed and the opponent's card effects can't be destroyed by battle um basically when this card leaves the field that monster is going to get destroyed so, keep it simple like that. So, I have a lot of stuff set up. And then we'll go ahead into this battle. So, these videos are going to be way longer than my normal Yu-Gi-Oh! match. Because I'm brand new to this deck, guys. This is literally the first time I'm taking this deck online. I have no clue how this is going to go. I did play an offline um, campaign match with this deck. But, it's probably not the way it's going to go with online. Because online dealers will have their decks a little bit better set up. So I'm going to be able to activate my card's effect right here, which is my Nectria Cosmo Beat. It allows me to special summon this card in attack or defense when my opponent summons or sets a monster. As my opponent just set one card face down, it allows me to summon this card from my hand. Give me a second free monster on the field, and as it's a tuner, on my next turn, I'm going to be able to tuner summon a level 6 monster. And I have a lot of other special cards in this deck, like Black Rose. A lot of good stuff here, guys. So next up, the card I just drew was Scrap Iron Scapegoat. This card is absolutely awesome because if my opponent attacks my monster, I can activate it and it will actually stop my opponent from destroying my monster. So we set right there. And we're going to summon... Well, we're actually going to flip him up. Then, we're going to try to actually do... A synchro summon. So as you guys see right here, we got Nutria Barkeon. We could um, do the synchro summon for him. He basically allows me to negate trap cards, which is absolutely awesome. And we also could go for right here, this guy right here. He's number six. He's level six as well. And it basically allows me to attack twice in a turn and reduce the attack of my opponent monsters by half. But we're not going to want to use him yet. So for right now, we're going to actually go for Barkeon so I can make sure that my opponent doesn't have a set spell or trap that can hurt me so we're going to combine these two now remember i can still normal summon this monster card in my hand but we're going to wait just to see if my opponent responds to the card i'm summoning right now so we're going to go into attack okay and next up we're not going to activate anything we're going to summon him See, this is it's keep asking me to activate safety zone, but I don't need to activate safety zone right now, so we're just gonna wait. So now I'm gonna go ahead and attack with Barkion. As now my opponent, if he does activate any trap cards, I can negate it using Natria Barkion's effect. Nope, we're not gonna activate any other effects. When this card is sent to the field, ah, oh, blue eyes. Okay, so this is gonna my opponent's probably using the blue eyes. Deck. This might be a little interesting right here. Blue eyes are pretty good cards, and he looked like he's going to be trying to summon a whole lot of blue eyes. Let's see if I can defeat the 
Blue Eyes White Dragon deck versus my Nithria Dragon. So, Blue Eyes historically have more attack than Nithria. So, Nithria only have one card that actually hits 3,000 um, damage. And it's actually a Synchro Summon. And it's a nine level 9 Synchro Summon monster. Which are Synchros, for anybody who doesn't usually watch Yu-Gi-Oh! Or play the game. Because I know money if you guys are just getting into it. Because you guys see me playing on the channel. They're always a card that have these white... Um, over like basically the card is always gonna be white that's basically it effect monsters are the ones right here that look kind of brownish so now I'll end my turn and allow my opponent to go I'm not gonna activate any effects but if my opponent summons a blue eyes white dragon the next turn I do have a few different ways to destroy that monster so I have mirror force in the back row and I have my basic e right here is called wall of thorns so if he attacks my plant monster it's going to be a problem for you Ah, command. Okay, this one's good. It's a good card. This card cannot be destroyed by battle. So that's actually a pretty good card right there. He doesn't attack me. I wish he would. I would have destroyed him. Which is smart, though. Smart. Keep a monster on the field that can't be destroyed by battle. Ah, just got a pretty good card. Set that face down. I'm not sure if this is going to work. I don't know if Book of Moon will actually make me be able to destroy that card. But we're going to find out for sure right now. We will find out right now, guys. I've actually never booked a moon it before. So we'll see if it works. I already know he has 1,200 defense. So we'll see what happens. Yes, it does work. Okay. By booking the moon, it allows me to actually destroy it because it was face down and the effect didn't actually activate. And now, I will see when my opponent lets me actually go. So once again, guys, these videos are actually going to be very long. And I'm going to try to, hopefully they're not going to be longer than maybe 20 minutes, 25 minutes. And they're going to kind of be, not in a part one, part two. But because I make these videos recorded on my phone, I have to split up the videos about 16 minutes in. So, like, my phone could only record about 16 minutes of video at a time, just doing it the way I do it to have it the quality that I get it. And then after that, I'm going to have to go ahead and, well, yeah, just put it all together in the editing program and just make it one long file. There we go. Another attack from towards my opponent. And now I go into my main phase two. So remember guys, the reason I'm leaving that um, monster with 1400 attack in attack position, I actually want my opponent to set his monsters in face up attack position so I could go ahead and have the advantage because if he attacks me, I will activate my trap cards. So right now, only thing I'm really worried about is high damage monsters or spell cards. Right now I got trap cards covered and I got um, most monsters I could destroy right now, but of course... If there are cards out there that destroys my back row, that's going to hurt. Or anything like Vortex or Black Hole, that would definitely hurt. Because if my opponent has a Black Hole right now, he would destroy all my monsters. And I would have no way of actually retaliating, retaliating against that. So now my opponent threw out an Insect Knight. Uh, interesting card. Um, he's probably going to attack here. That's what I would do. As expected, I'm going to activate my Wall of Thorns, which is going to destroy his insect. Not going to combat any dangers. Remember guys, this is a deck that has over 50 cards. Normally a Nutria deck only has 40. And I could have just did a 40 deck card, but like I said, I want to keep it a little more interesting for you guys. Because you guys are saying you see my strategy with the Samurai. And the Samurai strategy is pretty simple, guys. You just basically want to get your single monsters on the field as fast as possible. And you want to have as many monsters out there as quick as possible and win one, two turns. That's basically it. Samurai is a very quick moving deck compared to something like this, which is more slow paced. By now, I would have either lost or won the deck with Samurai. Because Samurai is either you throw out your best stuff right away and you win. Or you throw them out and somebody counters it and you lose. This deck, you have a few different ways to come back even in drastic situations. Because it uses stuff like Swords of Revealing Light. For me, with my Samurai, I don't even want a card like Solar revealing light in my deck because of the fact that by the time that sort of real light even finishes i should already won the duel i want to win in three turns i don't want to win in four to five turns as you guys have seen um samurai is a type of deck that your opponent either going to quit get because they're annoyed but this deck is good for that too because this is kind of a lockdown deck because now my opponent can't um can't really um do anything with trap wise 
So that gives me the advantage and he might get so mad that he might either rage quit or he actually forfeit the duel and basically say he concedes to my skills. So yeah, like I said guys, first time taking this one online. I'm hopefully I can do pretty well. I'm doing pretty good right now. I haven't lost any life points. I don't want to lose any life points. I don't want to lose a duel because guys, I'm still working my way up the leaderboards. I want to get into gold tier ranking. Right now I'm ranked silver plus two, which is a good ranking. That's basically I would say halfway to the top. The top is gold rank two. But right now I'm silver rank two, so I still got some ways to go. A lot more duels to duel. I've dueled a whole lot already. I have more wins than loss, that's definitely sure. But um, I can't keep my winning streak up if I use this deck compared to Samurai. Samurai, I know for a fact that I'll have a better chance of keeping a good winning streak. With this deck, there's so many variabilities that at any time I know a black hole could come out. There's so many stuff that could happen with this deck that I just can't be 100% sure that my opponent's not going to do something that's going to wipe off my whole entire monsters on my field. Samurais have so many different ways to keep themselves on the field or summon themselves back. The trios have the same ability to summon from the graveyard using a lot of different cards like the Redox, which is like a dragon type card. Even though it's not a plant monster, it does really work well with this deck. But even with that being said, it, there's a lot of different things that could take out this deck definitely are and if you don't get to set up right at the beginning you can hurt yourself a lot so here we go my opponent's probably going to try to attack my other monster that's 1400 as well um if he does i'm gonna go oh he can't actually i forgot i don't have mirror force so yeah i'm so not used to playing mirror force anymore mirror force used to be like a staple of the playing Yu Gi Oh's back in the early 2000s and you know maybe even in the early 90s but um a lot of people even moved away from using it a lot more and more just because of the fact that unless you're trying to do something like with zodia um a lot of people try to win a lot faster than using um mirror force but i have mirror force so i might as well use it up right now so right now my opponent is thinking on what they're going to do so hopefully they stick with the duel and don't quit out um i really want to see how this plays out myself so i'm hoping they just end their turn and let me go and actually try to attack and win this duel so my opponent activated a spell card that spell card is spell absorption what does that do well it has a nice little effect that allows my um well, it allows him not me that was my phone telling me that it's not actually charging because this game takes up so much battery energy and um, recording as well. Basically, every time a spell card is activated, my opponent will gain 500 life points, which I definitely need. And the card I just drew is a card called the Wicked Avatar. It does not belong in this deck. It's a fiend card, but it has one of the funniest effects I've ever seen in like a card-based game. Basically, what it does is like any monster that has the highest attack on the field. So let's say my po my monster right now called Natria Barkion. I was about to say Pokemon, but my monster, because they're called Yu-Gi-Oh monsters, has 2,500 attack um if i summoned um, um wicked avatar and let's say nutria bark on could be on the field it would have 26 so it always has more attack than the highest attack monster on the field no matter what monster that is and once i summon it my opponent cannot actually activate any um spell or like traps um for two turns basically once return of this card would attack your opponent if this card attacks your opponent cannot uh okay whatever if that card attacks, so I'll attack it. No, we're not going to activate nothing. So, I have not drawn that many Nutria monsters, but this is pretty much working out pretty well right now. I mean, my um, opponent can't attack me. I could attack him. Um, I can't summon Wicked Avatar yet because Wicked Avatar is a 10 star monster so that's basically its level because I know some of you guys are asking me during my live stream on Sunday like what are the what's the highest star level well 10 is one of the higher ones so and to summon a monster with 10 stars unless it has an effect to special summon itself you would need to triple summon three monsters so we need three monsters on the field and I will tribute all those monsters they will be sent to my graveyard over here and then I can summon over Wicked Avatar but as I don't have three monsters on the field I can't get with it Wicked Avatar up there right now. Like I said, Wicked Avatar does not belong in the Nutria deck. Don't follow what I'm doing at all. I'm here to make these matches and these videos a little bit more interesting than they have been. Samurai, this video would have been over a long time ago, and I just want to have fun with this one. Um, another game that I've been playing with that has cards in it is Witcher 3. I've been playing that game Gwent, I think that's how I call it. I really enjoy that. That's a really cool thing. Ooh, that's a very interesting card right there. So that card right there, what it does is if it's when it's um when it's just when it's just oh wait, oh yeah wait we're gonna activate something on that card <laughs> so i know what my opponent's doing my opponent's trying to act summon a blue eyes white dragon 
but I am not going to allow him to do it. So I'm going to explain what's happening right now before we go back to Witcher. See this card, what it says is when this card is targeted for attack, you can negate the attack. And if you do change this card um, position, and then you can special summon one blue eyes white dragon from your deck. Graveyard drawing the player turn when this card is uh, 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 uh. well, we're gonna try something. I don't know if the, I'm gonna ha I'm gonna see what happens if I attach a a safety zone to that monster. If I can still attack it, I'm gonna see something. This is gonna be interesting. I don't know if this is gonna work, guys. We're gonna try something really interesting that normally wouldn't work. Normally, this wouldn't. I wouldn't think it would work, but let's try it anyways. This might be just fun to do. Actually, we don't have to do that. We don't have to do that. We could do something else because I just drew in this monster. It says, when this card is targeted for attack. Nope. Watch this. See, I was going to do something that might have been really stupid because. Guys, I'm back. Sorry right there. The video cut out what I was talking about guys There was a limit to how long I could record these in parts But what I'm about to do right now is XYZ summon a monster So my opponent is trying to summon a blue eyes white dragon right now And if I attack that monster across the field, it's gonna allow her to do it right away But because I'm about to do this right now, my opponent's gonna have to make a choice Lose a thousand life points or destroy her monster. She's gonna destroy her monster. My effect. So the effect of number 44 Sky Pegasus, I'm going to detach one card, you need two level 4s attached to it, then I'm going to select my monster on the field. Now my opponent gets a choice, either destroy your monster or take 1000 life points. As my opponent only has 300 life points left, he's going to have to go ahead and take, destroy his card. At least that's what I think. Let's see you. When this card is a t when this card is targeted for an attack, you can negate it. And if you do change this, uh, you can switch on my card. All right. Um, during either player's turn, when this card is, is when either when when a card effect that is targeted is face um must accept during the advance. You can special summon one blue eyes right down from your hand deck or graveyard. Let's see. All right, let's try something. I don't know what's gonna happen here. I don't know. I'm just trying shit. I'm trying shit. I don't know what happens. I don't know. We, now we're trying some crazy shit. I have no clue how this is going to all work out. I might have just helped my opponent. I might have not. I don't know. Alright, so my opponent still gets the blue eyes and I get nothing. Oh well. Oh well. I was ah oh, man. I can't attack my opponent right now, but it's okay. It's okay. So my opponent now has one blue eyes white dragon on the field. Um I still got myself my swords of revealing light, so my opponent can't attack me unless they use mystical space typhoon. And um like do something about that. My opponent did a thousand life point damage. Oh, you finally did some life point damage to me, but you had to use a spell card to do it. Oh, isn't that cute? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care one bit. Should be just happy with that some game <laughs> life point. All right, here we go again. So I'm still going to be able to use the effect of Sky Pegasus once again. Oh, very good card. Alright. Alright, so we're going to summon up our Nutria. Cherries is a plant tuner type monster, so that could allow me to synchro. Right now, the monster that could synchro is Black Rose Dragon, and that's exactly the one we're gonna use. But before we synchro summon Black Rose Dragon, what you guys are gonna like, watch what's gonna happen when I synchro summon Black Rose Dragon. This is gonna be very fun. Now, I might be just losing the duel for this, but this is the stuff you guys wanted to happen. You guys wanted to be 
more exciting. So if you want to see excitement, watch this, guys. Watch this. So we're going to go for Black Rose Dragon. Oh, wait. Actually, no, no. Ah, I want to do it. All right. What Black Rose Dragon does, it destroys all cards on the field. It will basically make the duel start all over. But the fact that I have no more monsters in my hand, I kind of don't want to do it either. So I'm just going to attack. I really want to do it just to be funny, but... Let's win this duel. Let's win the duel. Forget it. Forget it. I'm not going to do that. I'll wait till another duel when something more interesting happens and then we'll do that, guys. I, I'm not going to risk losing this duel because I want to be stupid. Dark Blade. This is a warrior type monster. And then we're going to attack with Sky Pegasus and win the duel. So even though it's in the Tria deck, it has a lot of variety. So that duel lasted about 20 minutes long, guys. I only got 800 points. And guys, as you've been seeing, normally I get about almost 1,500 to 1,600 per duel when I play with my Samurai. So I get a lot less points. It's not going to help me rank up as much. But it's still more fun and more interesting than just playing with Samurai. So as you guys requested, I've played with another deck. I'm in the process right now of making my water deck. So my water deck will be the next deck you guys see. And I actually got another Synchro Monster as my prize. So Biki here with the Untitled Game Show. I hope you guys enjoyed that little duel right there. I'll be back with more Yu-Gi-Oh! every single day on my second channel called Yu-Gi-Oh! Not Yu-Gi-Oh! Sorry. Biki Plays on my second channel called Yu-Gi-Oh! I just make a channel just to do Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. But anyways, guys, everybody watching on my main channel, just be noted, go to my second channel. Link is in the description to the playlist to watch all these Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Peace out, guys.